In this lesson, we're going to focus on the constant of proportionality and just try to figure out what that is. So the constant of proportionality, this is a term we use if the relationship between two variables is directly proportional. The unit rate is also known as the constant of proportionality. So if you find the unit rate, this is the same thing as the constant of proportionality, only if these two variables have a directly proportional relationship between them. So let's look at a couple examples. First one is this. Um, so you want to figure out, do these variables have a proportional relationship or not? If they are proportional, identify the constant of proportionality. So you can buy 8 Reese's for $6, or you can buy 12 Reese's for $9. So I might try to set up a proportion and see if these are proportional. So I might compare dollars to Reese's, and I make sure that I set up this the same way. So it looks like I have $6 for 8 Reese's, and I want to know, is that equivalent to $9 for 12 Reese's? And we have a lot of strategies that we could use to solve this. Maybe one of the simplest would be to use our cross-multiplying techniques. And if you check this here, 6 times 12, you get 72, and then the other cross product, 8 times 9 equals 72. So in both of these situations, we get 72. That means that these are equivalent ratios, which means they form a proportion. So yes, they're proportional. And now we just need to identify the constant of proportionality. So remember, the constant of proportionality is the unit rate. So if I want to do um, find a unit rate, I need to divide. I can do 6 divided by 8 to get 0 0.75. That would be 75 cents per Reese's. And if you just want to do another double check, you could do 9 divided by 12. That also equals 0.75, so we get the same. So our constant of proportionality is the 75 cents thing, and it means 75 cents per Reese's. Now again, like we've talked about before, the order of division matters. So you could do 8 divided by 6, but then you just need to identify what that means, Reese's per dollar, and that's not quite as traditional. Okay, let's look at one more. So again, do these variables have a proportional relationship or not? We're relating um, grams of fries to money. So make sure that whatever you do, you set it up the same both ways. So if I do grams over dollars one way, I have to do that the second time. So I'm going to do this. 80 grams cost $1. I want to know, is that equivalent to 150 grams costing $1.50? Okay. And now you might be able to tell right away whether or not these are equivalent because you have um, good techniques, like you could scale here or here. But if we use cross-multiplying and just be traditional like we did before, 80 grams times the dollar 50, that gives us um, 80 times 150, 120. And when we do this side, 1 times 150 equals 150. So these are not proportional. So they will not have a constant of proportionality. Okay, hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of what we're looking for.